<clears throat> I'm listening to Rodin Farrow be interviewed, and I'm thinking that it's brave of me to keep going living. And I'm staring at my face, and I'm thinking of Tig Notaro. Did I say your name right? God bless you, Tig. You talk shit about Louis C.K., a guy who I knew from the minute I stared at him was a piece of shit. And the confirmation was that he talked shit about his kid. Hey, you want to hear a funny Louis C.K. joke? Yo, dude, let me tell you something. Your wife loves your kid more than you. You want to know why? That's her kid. You're just a douchebag she met in a bar. Now, that's a funny joke, but that's sick as fuck, because when he goes on to talk shit about his kid for being a kid, that's how you know he's a narcissistic sociopath. Because I'm a fam from a family of those people. I'm just going to say, John, you're awesome for continuing to live and not dying. You look like a horror movie. And, and, and keep going, and you'll be all right. Go, Ronan Farrow. God willing, I will meet you someday. Maybe we'll chat. And, uh... That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah, you really are. You're, 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 you're one of my heroes now. You dethroned another one of my heroes, Woody Allen, by confirming that he is evil and soulless and can't make a funny movie because of it and takes himself too seriously and talks about the void and the evil nature of man in every one of his stupid fucking movies where he doesn't get his own point because he's a narcissist and an imbecile. Why do my words go faster than my face? This is what we do with face. If I do this, and I do this, when and then see YouTube, if you put this on YouTube, then it fixes it. Nah. Okay. So, that's, that's what we'll do. Let me see. Uh, note to self. Don't die. Keep writing. Sell the writing. Be rich. Don't be miserable. Don't always look like this. Find someone to love. Get a dog, maybe. I saw a bear. I saw a bear the other night and it was running and I thought it was my friend's Newfoundland, Luke, the Newfoundland. And then I thought, gee, John, I can't be a Newfoundland. It has huge paws leaping into the... It was running that way. I was driving parallel to it. And it was loping around and I'm thinking, that's a big black dog with paws. It was running about 30 miles an hour. I, I consider this in the way that the Native Americans consider it to be like a medicine sign. So when I saw the deer, that was my inner sensitivity. And now that I've seen the bear, watch out. You know what I'm saying? I'm, even gonna, I'm not even going to mob it. I'm not even going to... It's good to be alive. Here, we'll do a 360 on this. Please don't die, John. I'm not going to die. I'm just... I don't want to fall. See, look. Okay. Stop that! Okay. Love you, Ronan. Ooh, listen. Ashland, amazing place. It's a rainforest next to a, a high desert. Who knew? Abram, that's it. Okay. Love you, Ronan. Hope to speak to you soon. Later.